Aspiring screenwriters need to understand the function of supporting characters. Supporting characters are really just devices. Once they serve a function in the script, we don't need them anymore. Okay, so let's take one of my favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Lots of great supporting characters in there. Uh, we'll start with the boring economics teacher played by Ben Stein. Bueller, Bueller, anyone, voodoo economics. We all remember that guy, right? Great supporting character. What was his function? Well, he supported the main storyline uh, of Ferris Bueller. His, which in his storyline was he wanted to show his best friend Cameron a, an amazing day off because he knew that at some point they'd go off to college, they'd go their separate ways. And if Cameron continued on this road, his life would be ruined because he's stuck in his horrible rut of neuroses. And so he was going to give him a great day off. Well, what would a day on be looked like? What, we need to know what a day at school would have looked like. Because sometimes school is interesting, right? You might have uh, great teachers that are inspiring and, you know, engaging. But that's why we need this scene with Ben Stein. He was the most boring teacher on the planet. This is what Cameron would have to suffer through if he stayed at school, right? So once we have that character, we don't need him anymore. He did a great job. Same thing with Grace, who was the uh, principal's secretary. So the principal was a main character. He was a foil. His job was to catch Ferris Bueller, and he wanted to make an example of him. And, uh, you know, he, he was on to him. But you can't just think that. He has to say all that to someone. So he said it to Grace. He was the one he was talking to, right? And so and, and afterwards, she would say, oh, my God, Ed, Ed, you sound just like Dirty Harry. And now she's, her function was to boost him because you, when you have a, a foil, you want him to be, like, formidable, and so he was like, yeah, I am like Dirty Harry. I'm going to catch Ferris Bueller and I'm going to ruin his life. So whenever you have a villain, you want the villain to be really formidable. He wasn't a buffoon, Ed Bruni. He was overzealous and he was kind of a putz, but he certainly wasn't a buffoon. You want to have that tension that to make it seem like he, uh, Ferris Bueller really wasn't going to get caught. So all these supporting characters, and once we have them, we don't need them anymore, right? And Grace was interesting. She pulled pencils out of her hair and she smelled glue and, you know, and she talked in, in an interesting fashion. But once we're done with her, once she served that function, which was to be the sounding board for the principal, we're done with her. We don't need her anymore. So when you write your scripts, you're going to have lots of supporting characters. Use them and get them out of there, right? You have to understand. And if they don't have a function, why are they in your script? And if you're an aspiring actor... It really helps to understand story and story structure. It's the way you, you can read the script and, and know, okay, what is the function of my character here? Like, you don't have to come up with some crazy backstory. You have to give the writer what the writer wants and understand what the function of the character is so that you can serve that function so you can get the role. All right, if you want to know more about uh, screenwriting, I have a free lesson. You're welcome to go get it over here. If not, keep following me here at Michael Javin Writer.